Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello. It's Marcy here from Nina. And today I'm so excited to have Stefan. Stefan, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm now, so I'm happy gonna to be part of it. Say, oh, go ahead. I'm just going to say, I want to make sure that I say the business name correctly because it's a mouthful, just like mine is. National Notarial Centralized Verification System, Inc. Is that correct? Is that that's absolutely correct? <laughs> Even say right. that I, a lot of a lot of people says that a little bit funnier, like NNCBS. So when you when you're thinking about the pharmacy, you just place front of it to N, and and you get that in short short term. You know, a lot okay, of well, that's, employees that's actually good. having a problem to pronounce that all, so they just say NNCBS. <laughs> that's a good tip to remember, everybody out there. I said the same thing. You know, it's Marcy at Professional Notary Services Biz, and I always say I'm going to shorten it down, and I haven't. You know, eleven years later, but I might someday. All right, I am so excited to have you guys today. So you have a Ron platform that you are going to demonstrate for us today. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your background, how you got started with this, and you know what your platform offers? Right. All right. So let me let me introduce myself to everybody. So my name is Stefan Perez Tejera, and I have the same as Mercy, um, the signing service directly in Manhattan in um, in New York City. Um, and due to course of of the whole signing service and providing in-person notarization for a public in our offices, um, and due to new laws um, by the state of New York, having the journal and um, have all the notarization recorded in the book, I was coming through every aspect of the notarization when as a signing agent, when you do closing, you don't often come through it. Um, so when, when you're getting the public coming into your office, um, it happens such as such that somebody showed up with the fake identification or um, trying to impersonalize somebody else in some sort of getting any benefit from any paperwork. And um, I was thinking about the idea how how to get everybody around known, right? So imagine about you're getting someone who has a fake ID and you reject a uh, notarization for the person. So the, the mindset of that person is to, okay, I'm going to leave from this notary. I'm going to find somebody else around who is not going to be that suspicious and will provide me with that notarization. So first I came with the idea to, to make such a centralized system where every notary who is in the platform can get that notification and be aware of something that is going on in the area, in the state, in the city, or in the in national aspect, which we actually exclude the California at the moment due to their law. And then we were coming with the remote online notarization platform, which we successfully completed. And we having that in the use for, for a notaries in the platform. What is different with our platform is that um, we offer the free um, membership or free uh, subscription for the electronic journal and, um, and the notification if there is something suspicious. So you guys can get that information right away. And... It basically make, if you think about that, it making like like the police system that connecting every notary in the system together, get that exchange of very important information. And I am standing on that uh, part that uh, we are the power or we hold as notaries the power to change someone properly, for example, with one stamp. Um, and that's very important to, to be aligned with the law, make sure that the identification of the people or the signers are as they are supposed to be, they are verified, and we are covered as the power that we hold in the hand to do such a, such a change or on the deed or any kind of legal transaction. Uh, with respect to the remote online authorization, we include that in our platform and we have that as a one um, very convenient fee and that's the monthly or yearly. So we offer $9.99 for a month, unlimited notarization. 
uh, or $99.99 a year, also unlimited notarization and all other um, aspects of the platform, such as um, Document Vault that can be um, offered by the notaries for as the additional service for their clients, and they can charge that um, on, on, on the client. And then um, the remote online notarization platform that we have, the only uh, thing that the notary is paying on top of that is uh, the biometric and KBA, which is $2.50 per signer. If you know personally a signer, of course, you don't have to uh, choose biometric or KBA. You can choose personally known, and that way you don't pay that additional $2.50 for a verification. Why we have that charge on top of that is because we have the third party offering that uh, service to us, that it's basically aligned um, with the database and with the um, with the credit uh, bureaus for the, the KBA verification. Um, I would like to share my screen if I can. Yeah, um, I'm going to let you go ahead and share now whenever you're ready. Okay, let me see. <laughs> this one it is because now I have so many windows open. Okay, uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes, perfect. Thank you. All right. Amazing. Let me just log in. So I'm going to log in into the staging, which we use as a, a sandbox um, where we can practice, where I can show you. And I have Evis, um, one of our director of deployment, uh, who is going to receive um, the notification so you guys can see it. Dot com. <clears throat> right so as you can see you can when you log in into the platform you have a two option you can uh set up that the system is gonna remember you for uh 30 uh, 30 days in um on the device that you are using you can log in on your cell phone tablet or let me see if i have a good that pin code or um the computer whatever you choose um you're getting the verification uh email at the moment we are working currently on changing that for a face id but not as an iphone id or the smartphone id but directly for from the biometric id which is associated with the with the third party software that we use for a kba and verification um of the ids so basically, every notary in the platform is verified by submitting their application, uh, their license, and the um, the commission number or the certificate uh, issued by the Department of State that uh, the agent is a commission notary public. And we are verifying the information directly with the Department of State, with each individual state. Um, we're going to change that process a little bit that every agent is going to pass the biometric registering into the platform and existing agents are going to be required uh, once we have that deployed to do the biometric um, on their file and then they will be able to log into the platform without any pin code um just with their face id so it's basically gonna remember them of course if they lost uh, we'll lose the the um, change or whatever in in the look or the id renews they will be have they will have to call over support department to get verified again so they will receive a text message with the um with the verification etc so it's gonna be much much easier so as you guys can see it on the on the display in the sandbox uh, in the staging, we have how the platform looks like. So uh, let me see because I have over cameras in here on the Zoom. So as you guys can see on the top, you have your name, uh, which you can see the profile. We have a public profile where you basically set up different information that you have. Um, in the registration. So for example, in the registration, you have different phone number and you have an office and you wanna have an office number. You wanna have a public email different from the email that you are registered and you wanna show up your, your um, website. You can do so as well uh, in the pu public profile, which we can open. 
So the commission number, of course, you cannot change because that's coming from your registration. The same coming with the name. You can enter your bio, the phone number, as I mentioned, email address, services offer. If you have the physical address for walking um, areas you're serving, you can choose. Now you cannot choose or I cannot choose because I'm in the sandbox. But if you are in the live platform, you are able to. Um, Asking you a question, if you are a lawyer, if you are a lawyer, then it's going to ask you what are your expertise you, you do, if you provide the remote online authorization, and if you have the website, if you have a website, you can enter and those information is going to pull up on the website um, immediately. Um, you have a settings where you can uh, change the um, um, subscription plan. Uh, for now, we have actually for first 500 uh, notaries, we have a lifetime subscription for $119. Uh, so once you get that, even if you're renewing your uh, license uh, or you're becoming the remote notary, uh, you just basically submit a ticket uh, with our support through the help desk on the platform and your registration number is going to be changed based on your commission certificate. In New York, we have that since traditional, you're becoming the remote online and traditional notary the registration number or commission number change. So that change needs to be performed by our uh, support department, which, which is going to be verified with the Department of State. Um, so you can you can do those kind of changes, change the password. Then we have the in the platform when we go back. I'm just going through it to the remote online authorization. So I want to everybody sees the platform itself. So when we are at home, we have some statistics, which at this moment it's empty because it's just the testing or demo uh, show. So you can see how many, how, how much fees you collect, um, travel fees, how, uh, how many records you added into the system, how, uh, how many uh, run, remote online authorization you perform at the month or in total. Then we have the verified client so I could verify, for example, myself. Nobody judge, please, for, for my date of birth. Oh, I cannot find myself because, unfortunately, this is a demo in live platform. You will be able to find um, the record or the verify the ID. So if you have how we could use that, it's going to change this function also. It's going to be scan of ID. So with the cell phone, once you have the clients in person, you can basically take the picture with your cell phone or with the laptop just holding the ID front of the camera. And it's going to search the database if that person is in the, in the national system. If it's in the national system and everything match, basically all the information automatically going to pull up under the notary name to their electronic journal. And you just basically add the information for documents you notarize and let the client with the finger sign on your on your cell phone. And then you just basically register in your uh, electronic journal. Um, you can uh, see how you can register the journal um, for the notarial record also in here, which you can also print the certificate out, which is a jurat or acknowledgement um based on that and generate the certificate and print it out so it basically loose certificate it's very easy to add it with all your information as a notary and the information of the signer you can view your own records you can arrange whatever date you want it between or with the date you can download it all the information once you have any records in um you have also document archive uh, accessibility to, to search, which is basically when some clients want to have their uh, documents archived in the system, such as um, power of attorney or will, um, health proxy, they can do so. You can charge that as an additional uh, fee on top of that as a service to store. So imagine you have a client who comes to your office or you're meeting as a mobile notary, someone who order your service to get notarized power of attorney, and they want to have the original, keep the original, but you can offer, for example, electronic copy to be stored in the national system. Uh, they can choose up to three people to have the access to it. So, for example, if there is a will or power of attorney, you add them, those people, it's going to uh, receive an email that person add them as a beneficiary to have the access to the power of attorney. 
and the copy of that power of attorney can be taken out from any notary in the network. So for example, somebody in New York um, requests to have notarized the power of attorney and they want to have that international system. And then in one, two, three weeks, maybe a year, um, that person is in, in Florida and we have there a notary who is in the national network. They look up on online search, the notaries in Florida or around them and they want to get the copy out. They can do so um, to get the certified copy out from the national system. So they visit a notary who is in the network, notary charge their own fees for getting that out. And it's basically in one, one network. Uh, then we have the income and statistic, what we had on the beginning. We have that also on the side. We have the warnings. So this is the warning that you can see. You can see if it's any suspicious. Now again, uh, take that as a demo. This is basically a demo that it's coming. You have the calendar. Uh, you can personalize your own calendar, whatever you want it, adding any events, um, information into that manuals and tips um you have the verify logo so you can post it on your website that you are in the centralized system or a member of the centralized system verifying customer notarial record basically describe how to do some remote online notarization or create the public profile and more it's coming then we have the help desk which you basically write a comment whatever you need to have the help with uh, within the platform and of course the the greatest one is the remote online authorization. So once you are approved for the remote online authorization, you will go to settings and you will upload your digital certificate um, from the Island Trust, um, which you can purchase. Um, the certificate is yours. What the most of the notaries, and especially in New York, because it's a new thing, still new thing for a lot of people in the state of New York, the remote online authorization itself. Uh, your digital certificate is basically your ID, uh, your stamp that basically seals the PDF document once the remote online authorization is over or it's completed. Uh, the certificate you basically upload into the platform with your password. Um, then you upload your, your stamp. So we have the generator for a stamp. I don't know if I can click and it's going to open. Yeah, you guys should still see it. So you can generate your own uh, notary stamp with the name as it's appear on your commission number, um, commission number, um, commission card, my, my apologies, commission number, expiration date, and the state. Then you generate the stamp, download the stamp, and basically upload it in the, in the platform and the signature uh, in PNG format, which is basically without any backgrounds on the backend. Once you have that process, you will be able to download the form. Um, I don't know if we can see it in here. Yes. So regards again, one more time, it is just the demo um, right now in the sandbox. So it's not aligned exactly as it's in the live one, but this one, it's sufficient form for you to submit with the um, Department of State that is required. Once you have everything that process, and you are approved, you can basically see your pending sessions, which we don't have any at the moment, and you can create a new session. The creating a new session is pretty simple and easy. We're going to simplify that um, a little bit more further. For now, we have only remote online notarization to offer. In the state of New York, you cannot provide remote ink notarization as it was before during the COVID era. Uh, so you can only provide the remote online authorization, which is really um, simple and easy. And I believe most of the uh, signing agents and notaries know how to do it um, or have the, already the experience do, during the COVID era to do it through the Zoom. Of course, now we cannot do it through the Zoom. You need to have a certified platform or the platform that it's aligned with the law and basically stores the record, document, video, um, ID, bio biometrics for 10 years under uh, the current law in the state of New York. So we offer at the moment remote online notarization. We don't have IPEN uh, and we don't use the remote in notarization at the moment uh, for any of the states. You can choose if it's the real estate transaction, um, 
uh, or it's no, then you're basically adding the signer. If you're adding the signer, the, the mandatory information to be added in the form is the first name and last name and the email address and phone number. Uh, email address is important and needs to be done correctly because the signer is going to receive the, the email with the link and PIN code to access the session. And Stefan, to... can I ask a quick question before I move Absolutely. on? Absolutely, please. I want to make sure. Um, so your platform is not currently MISMO certified. Is that correct? That's correct. That's absolutely correct. We are not MISMO certified. Um, talking with the Mozo, actually, because we spoke last time together uh, on over meeting, uh, I actually reached out to MISMO and we are going to process that as I was speaking also with our board members. Uh, we want to process with the MISMO. We are actually already preparing the application for a MISMO as well. Right. It is not, um, to make that straightforward MISMO, it's basically a certification for to be able to do um, closings for the real estate transactions um, that basically uh, title, escrow, and lenders accept under the MISMO certification. It doesn't have any effect on the regular not remote online authorization in the platform. We still have the um, titles and escrow, as I spoke to you in, um, in Florida, using our platform for a closing, um, usually for a seller side, not for a buyer side. So we are in the process for a MISMO, but currently we are not uh, certified just okay. yet. Nope, that's great. And then I know okay. you're doing this part right here, but can um do the signers need to be on separate uh you know on separate Session. computers or nope like can they share a computer and each take a turn and open a new tab or do they have to be uh, on their own computers or own smartphones or own tablet? Right. So at this moment we have uh we don't allow to have multiple signer at the one device. Okay. Needs to be each one needs to be on separate device, which is I believe it's not that hard, and especially in this century when everybody has a smartphone. Um, no need to be a uh, computer can be also a cell phone, tablet, whatever has the uh, camera and the audio working correctly. Um, we are in the plan for the future to develop the the option that they can be at the same device. Uh, but not at this moment. We're still developing. We're developing every single week new and new function into the platform and making it more more convenient for a sign as a for a notary and user uh, lawyers that also for the for the signer itself sure. and the clients. So any other questions? Nope. I think I'm good. Does anybody have any questions out there? You can drop them in the chat and I'll ask. But those okay. were my questions. So I'll let you move forward. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Mercy. So the email is very important. The client is gonna receive in the um, in the uh, the session the steps how to uh, how to proceed with the session. So once we have that, uh, I'm gonna actually proceed because we wanted to see it. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna proceed right now. So we have Evis at the at the platform right now with us. Evis at uh, and phone number, I'm just gonna make it right like that in the demo session. So uh, I'm gonna proceed with the KBA verification and biometrics, and I'm gonna set the signer in. We don't have to have any other information such as um, or they are no mandatory such as the address because we will get those information once the client um, does the, the biometric and the KPA, it's going to automatically pull into the system. So then we can add the witness as well or multiple witnesses. You can add multiple signers as well. You just basically click here, add another one, add it, you can choose. Once again, if you choose personally known, for example, you're notarizing something for for best friend who you actually really know really well or whatever consequences are, you don't pay 250 for the biometric and KBA, but if you choose the identification services, you will be additionally charged after the session is finished or completed. 
So you can add as many signers as you want. So if you want to have uh, 16 signers in the platform at the same session, you can do so. We are not limiting that. Um, you can schedule the session for whatever time you want and dates. You can make an expiration of it. So for example, somebody scheduled the session, but they did not log in and you don't want that session to be pulled in your in your pending sessions, it automatically gonna disappear if it was not even started on. And then you basically upload the document into the platform. Let me actually get one. Let's get the state approval form that we just generated. So let's let's use this one for just now. So we have a state approval form. We, you can choose as many PDFs up, as you wanted into the platform. So we can also add a, another email notification. What does it mean? So if we add another email notification, uh, for example, you do a seller signing for a title officer and you, you want to have them be notified that um, remote online authorization or the process was um, already successfully completed. Uh, you add their email and they're going to receive the information uh, at the end that it was completed with the option to get the documents immediately after the session. So now once I save it, I already see that it pull up in my pending sessions. I need to move again those cameras because I have, oh, now it pull up, perfect. So what I can see is the signer, and I'm gonna ask Evis, Evis, if you can please start um, logging into the session and process with, uh, okay. with your biometrics, thank you. <clears throat> so we have the the information right in here i can change any information so what usually happen you know um people give us the email with an error or they give the email with um it happened to me yesterday actually instead of uh yahoo the client provided email for gmail.com so client did not receive any notification to log in so we can change those information before the session or during the session. So I close the session and I uh, fix the information in the platform using this button. With this button in here, I will log in into the session uh, and I'm waiting for a client. At this moment, because I know it's going to be a question there, we do not have a pre-tagging of the document at this moment. We are currently working on that. So we will have the pre-tagging in a really short period of time, which allows the notary to basically pre-tag all the, the fields, dates, uh, signature lines for the signer to do so before actually the signer logs into the session, so which basically uh, speed the whole process in. Uh, and then we have an archive with the files, which we're going to see it after the session itself. So... Uh, let's get into it right now. Yeah, I, I am ready to join in a minute. You already joined. Perfect. So let me join. So I'll allow. Uh, uh, all right. So what we can see, can you guys see the screen? I hope so. So what we can see right now, we have the confirmation questions um, in the session. So basically, it's just a reminder for a client, for the notary to ask the questions of the signer. Um, if we have a permission to record and store the session for another 10 years as it required by the law in the state where the notary is currently, um, so it is yes. Those information are stored on the backend and in the notary file. So the notary is actually interrupting with the client. A lot of notaries forget to ask those questions to protect themselves. It is recorded on the video. And, um, and if there is any issue, court proceedings whatsoever. Can I ask a quick question, Stefan? Absolutely, so, absolutely so, please. So this is, this is being recorded, is that correct? Correct. Like when you got to this part of the session, okay, can they stop the recording? And I ask that because, so in New York State, you know, they you can't have any personal identifying information on the recording, so they couldn't state their date of birth on there, and they wouldn't be able to record that driver's license being showed on the camera. So could they stop the recording and do this part and then turn it back on or off? 
you you can you can do that basically by um what we have a good on this platform is that notary can the only notary can stop the camera of the signer signer itself cannot stop the camera or the audio recording okay so, so notaries who are in states where they couldn't get any personal identifying information correct. on the recording like in new york we cannot could stop okay. it and do some of that online if necessary and then come back online and say i just want to confirm i verified your name i verified your id i verified your date of birth so that piece is caught on camera but not the identifying information correct correct okay perfect correct yes thank you so basically what we ask another question if somebody is present yes or no uh if the signer is do so on his own will then if the match of course again the state by state right so um um some of the states requiring you to prove the id on the camera some of them no uh so let's see you can click yes or no it doesn't actually matter and then you just confirm now hi evis say hi to everybody everybody can see you uh so now we have the now we have the cameras so basically we can we can prohibit the recording on 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 the side of the client oh i see we have there some questions it's something it's pull up just right now i just cannot open that okay i see uh nope stefan is in new york we are in new york yes mm -hmm. we are in new york yes but you can but, you can join the platform anytime you want, even if you are in Kentucky. So what we have, let's get continue. Let's guys, if who is watching online, let's just finish with this and then we can go through the QA questions. If you have it, please just write them in. I just don't want to get so much, very much distracted into it. So what is the good part of the platform is that the um we can re restrict the, the camera of the signer. Then we have the document information. Uh, we have the document information, what we are notarizing. Um, if it requires any witness in it, those information gonna pull up in the record in the journal. And if it's the sign up based in the United States, and then we can see the identification, KBA pass, ID. Oh, because we are okay. So you you skip it if it's that right. We are in the sandbox. That's why. That's why we don't yes. even see the, see the document at the moment. So. Uh, so if I refresh Evis the the platform the 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 demo session, we will be able to see the document. You mean to load document to see? Can you see the document on your on your demo? Not yet. I can't see a document on our side. Nope. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we are using the demo platform. That's why I'm asking if we are able to. Can you see it, Evis? No. No. Okay. Let me let me try to refresh, and let's see if we are able to. No. We are not. So I think we will have to do. We will have to go and log in under the real one. So let me let me just do it right now. So I'm gonna cancel this session, okay? I'm gonna send you every okay. new information. I'm gonna log in under myself, okay? Okay. I apologize everybody for that. It just, in the testing, we don't have that allowed to, to do so. I completely forgot. So uh, let me just log out from here and let me log in into here. Oh, how is the, oh, my apologies. Spam. <clears throat> Session. So it's the same as you can see the live and the staging that we were using as a demo. I just want everybody sees the. Yep, we're good. Was that? We can see you. We're good. Okay. There it is. And... Okay. So now identification services. Add, add the documents. Let's do the state approval form. Save and save. All right. So he's going to get an email. He's gonna get through it and we will able to see him. 
let us know, Evis, once you are entered in the session, okay? Okay. Thank you. So now, um, the only difference is that I changed now from the demo platform that we use for a sandbox for the real platform, just because um, of the PDF, it cannot show it in the demo uh, when you are basically going through the through the functionalities of the of the platform itself. So basically, we are going now the live notarization through the platform. So we're just waiting for the Evis to join the session. So you guys can see it, how actually it looks like in real life. <clears throat> Any questions meantime? No, I think we're good. Okay. Already, let's see. Let's join. So let's let's join the, the session right now. Okay, here he is already. So let's just answer. Is anybody no? Let's do this one all right accepting oh it's asking me a question over and over all right good oh i see so i can you guys see it everything i can see yes yeah. Okay, I just having a trouble in here because we are also on the on the second camera, so the system recognized that uh, that I'm on the on the second part of the camera, so that's that's why it's giving us the consent to to join. But um, you cannot be on two cameras at the at the same time. That's why. So it's basically protecting you from any other recording of of the client or of the session. But as you guys can see, it. We have a document in um in here and we have the opportunities here on the on the, let me let me try to just turn stop video on the zoom. Up. Oh, can you guys see? Yeah, yes. yeah, we can see it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. All right. Abyss, I don't know why I'm having a trouble with I having the information on showing up. Can you tell me why? Oh, I am using the alt. That's why maybe it's showing me the entire screen. Let's see. I don't know why it's showing me the error on the on accepting the questions. I don't know if it's because of the Zoom call. Show permission. Yeah, it's, it's, it's because maybe... it's because of the Zoom call, Brian. Yeah. Okay, so unfortunately, because of the Zoom call over platform, it does not let me to to show you exactly or to continue process with the with the remote notarization, which has the logic um, behind that. Uh, it cannot re record the screen and and what is happening right now because we are at the Zoom, even if I stop the video call from the Zoom. But I just want to show everybody, as you guys can see, the, um, the session itself has the opportunity to add the name on the platform i'm gonna i'm gonna also share with you the the sh the quick video after the session with mercy so mercy you can then add it on the on the webinar online yeah that would be fine okay we have that i have that recorded actually separate way uh how that works to to add the name and initials and the signatures uh, text button so you can add the free text for a signer to add it for example um, needed to add the address on any form so the client can do so on their own so you do know that it does not need to do so and then we have the wrong certificate mercy you probably know all right that it's that unwritten memo correct uh, uh -huh. that it's unwritten memo that in the state uh, of new york uh, you have to add the certificate of remote online authorization and then compliance form, uh, which was pretty funny because it wasn't anywhere. Only the Supreme Court says you need to add those two extra certificates at the end of the session. So basically, you can add them automatically in here in the session, as you can see on the bottom on on the um, 
uh, right side, um, you have add on certificates in so that automatically add you those two extra certificates at the end. So not every state is requiring that, but we have that set up so every state can use that as well, uh, which basically a lot of uh, lawyers, when they do waiver for of citation, they require to have those forms as well, right? To use them with the, with the court in the state of New York. You can add any other in information such as identification of the session because I can't at the moment scroll the screen down as it's prohibited because we are at the other camera. Um, for the security purposes, the document comes automatically with this, the session number at the bottom. So that basically anybody who gets that uh, document notarized will be able to verify that under that number at the bottom online uh, through the secure link that this session actually happened. So it cannot be somehow um, I, I saw it a lot of time in New York, um, as we spoke with Mercy last time, that know that it just add electronic stem in the PDF format, whatever, and basically give it to the client, which is wrong and it should happen. For that reason, we have every document that goes through the remote online authorization that the platform comes with the unique uh, session ID at the bottom of each page of the PDF that was added into the session. It says on the bottom, this was uh, notarized remotely online. Verify this notarization under this ID session. So basically, we are trying to avoid any fraudulent activities from the signer and from even from the notaries itself. Because as we spoke many times, or we spoke the last time, Mercy, regarding how how some notary is getting uh, smart and letting their platform used by somebody else. This is also one of the key settings that we do so that ID face ID verification of the notary joining uh, or signing into the platform each time. So basically cannot nobody else under that name or account join if there is not a person matching the face. Um, so those are the kind of things that we have. Once you complete the session, once you click on the complete the session, the session, um, all the information such as, um, let me just cancel this one. Um, cancel. Okay, I needed to just hardly close right now. So once the session ends, it's show the status completed. And in the sessions, you're gonna see the when it was completed, you can, you can see the ID of the session that was generated of the documents. You will be able to get that notarized file and the originals file. And now it's just the original non notarized because unfortunately it didn't complete it. You will see the video session that you will be able to download it at the end. And then you will be able to see the, the information, whatever information that entered. Right, and the ID information that was passed whatsoever. Uh, if it's a witness in there, you will be able to see the witness. Once the questions are an answered, up, 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 apologies, my Alexa is ringing. Oh, uh, I'm very sorry for that. Uh, that's my ring camera and I couldn't change the name of that device. So tech savvy. Uh, so all those information is going to pull up in here once it is complete. If the session is for any reason not complete, the session is going to be stored there. If there was not set up the expiration date once you were setting up the session at the beginning, it's going to stay there for another 10 years with all those information, which is not going to bother you because um, it's going to just pull in the records as you are adding you a new session into it. Um, let me return back to, to the sandbook, um, so you guys could see also, um, other thing that it's going to be allowed today. <clears throat> ah. Again, we needed to give even the ID on here. Apologies. One, seven, six, three, six, six. Up. Oh, I'm not typing. Seven, 
So what we have something new coming in. Um, we are just finishing some setting apps, but we have that already in the testing. You can see the terminal. So terminal works basically every notary who want to charge their own clients um, can do so on their own by adding their own Stripe account. You can create your own Stripe account if you don't have it yet. You can add your services here. So we can add any service you wanted to, I don't know, notarization. Um, Two dollars creates oath, whatever you wanted to do so. And once you have that setting up in here, connected your own Stripe account, you can charge the client by adding notarization, um, travel fees, whatever you add, or you can even put it here: travel fees, um, fifty bucks uh, at the custom service. So, uh, it's gonna. Oh, I put it five hundred. I'm sorry. So you have a 500 going across the half of the country. So let's do so. And then you can basically or send the payment link directly to client email with the invoice once it's paid. Or if you are with a client, uh, you can process the payment directly um, with a debit or credit card and charge. And it's going to pull in your history record that you get payment done. So basically, our platform aligns for another to have everything in one. You don't have to have any more so many subscription plans uh, for the electronic journal, for the remote online authorization, for a document wall. And we are coming with more and more information and more and more functionalities for another is um, itself. I know Mercy has her own signing service upstate. Uh, that's also one of our uh, future ideas to develop the National Closing Center within the platform, which is going to directly communicate between, between the, the title signing service and the notary itself. Um, also, we are allowing, we're going to allow the direct communication between the notaries through the chat and the video communication. So I will say like, okay, I see Mercy's online. Let me find her out in the platform. And I have a question regarding to, I don't know, I'm going to ask her if she could help me or she could make herself unavailable. She doesn't want to be bothered. Or I see that there was any identification fraud Mercy plays in the system as a warning or in the in the page that there is something going on in the area regarding to the law or regarding to a client or any fraudulent activity so it can be basically communicated and anybody could ask or she could share any information about that or request an information between each other so think about the platform it's not just the remote online authorization itself it's also connecting or it was developed to connect the notaries between each other and exchanging all the important information between each other um, regarding to anything in, in the legal um, areas of the notarization, identification, fraudulent activities. It's basically to connect us closer together. Questions? I don't think so. Anybody have any <laughs> questions that they'd like to ask? I think they'll probably have questions once we get the other piece of the recording so they can see how it works a little right. bit on the back end. Right, right. I'm I'm absolutely gonna provide you with the video. Unfortunately, as you can see, as you can see, the security is number one for us. For that reason, we do not allow to. You know, same time, what the notaries do, you could do the recording of your screen and be on the session, and we don't want that. So the system actually knows. I completely forgot, and, and uh, Abby's was texting me. Uh, it's because you are at the different platform uh, recording uh, the session, and you are on the camera. So those are the information that uh, we are very, very trying to protect. The security is for us the number one. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see. I see here we have any. Yeah, can you go through the fees again one more time, like the monthly or subscription fee? And oh, then is there uh, like a per notarization type of fee? Right. So let me see if I can see it in here. Okay. So as you guys can see, we have the 
Oh, and now I have so many windows from the Zoom open. Hold on a second. I needed to push the okay, webinar chat is on the side. Now I can see. All right. So we have a free subscription. It's a personal notarial electronic journal, national database of the notarial act, income statistic and support that basically you get for free. So if you are required to keep a notarial journal in your in your state, you can and it allows you to have the electronic one. You, you, we have those information on our website, centralizedverification.com. You go system and scroll down state requirements. You can check if your state is requiring to have the journal. It is always a good practice to have one. Uh, so you can have that for free. Then we have a monthly subscription, which basically comes uh, with unlimited remote online notarization once again. We have, if you choose in the remote online notarization that you want to have a biometric and KBA, meaning the person is unknown, you don't do so for any of your best friends. So you know, it's unknown, you have to, some states require you have to process with the KBA biometric besides you know the person. You will be charged $2.50 for that biometrics once it is completed. Uh, that's the extra that it's come for any session, but you can do as many sessions as you want it without any other charges on fee. Then we have a yearly subscription, $99.99, which is everything the same as the monthly subscription, as you could see. And every new thing that we are developing into the platform, it's automatically going to the monthly or yearly without any raise in the subscription. And then we have for first 500 users, um unlimited forever lifetime until you are a commission notary 119 only for 500 people we offer that um in the new 500 people offering that for the for the platform so that could be take advantage of um so you have that pretty much um what happened if the kba fails well if the kba fails for any reason they can repeat that again and again. Um, they can repeat that, I believe, for three or four times. We don't have the restriction that it's locked out for 24 hours. So that means they just needed to click out or basically log out from the session, click again on, on the link and log in back to basically restart the process if the three uh, unsuccessful um, um basically verifications are uh, done by the client. So if they do so, they fail, they just needed to log out and log in. I know there are platforms that they offer that only three times and then it logs out the session for 24 hours. We don't have that. So you don't have to be worried. Um, so as I mentioned, the notarization fees for remote online notarization, uh, you have uh, unlimited remote online notarization. They are just the fees for the biometric and KBA, which is $2.50 per signer. Any other questions, Alicia? The... I could actually I could actually swearing. <laughs> I've been talking for a whole hour. All right. What happens if they fail KBA? Can you just do biometric? Yeah, I mean that. that yeah, that's that what would I depend said. on your state, right? That depends on what your state requires. Yeah, yeah. Which I know is not a great answer, but that's the case. And it also, when it comes to real estate closing, depends on the lender and title company because some require KBA. Um, and so if they were to fail, there'd be no other option without going back to them and making them aware of that. So know that when you're doing general notary work, it's really state specific. When you're doing real estate work, it's both. It's state specific and it would be lender uh, title company relevant as well. So I know okay. that sounds like there's a lot of information in there, but but there is, right? So you have to be careful because not every state allows for biometrics. Not every state will allow just for KBA, right? They'll they'll require right. something more. So be conscious right. of that. And it's also also what I always said to everybody: it's a technology, but also the notary needs to know that determination factor at the end. Once you are at the at the, it's the same as when you are in the person. When somebody is in person with you, and it's somebody there in the room, is there any pressure? Do you feel anything that could be affected by the notarization process? Any other factors that somebody is behind that computer of the signer who is pulling any 
you know, um, pressure of the signer to proceed with that uh, with that act to sign in front of the notary public. So those are the all the things that notary needs to take in consideration when do in-person notarization and remote online notarization itself. Right. You have to have that kind of sixth sense when you do so remotely online, right? And it's important to note, just because someone fails KVA doesn't mean it's fraud, right? Correct. I mean, I, I like to point this out is that some of those questions can be difficult. If you're someone who's moved 10 or 15 times, you may not remember your Correct. zip code. Uh, if you're older, you may not remember those things. I tell everyone the same story. My name is Marcy. My brother is a Marco. Lots of our public information is like integrated. So there are a lot of times where the questions on my KBA will have his information. Because he's my brother, I know and I can answer them properly. But uh, that happens too, right? With same names or similar names, you might get it. So I want to make sure that you're all aware it's important to to stay vigilant but it isn't um you know 100 percent there's fraud involved when someone fails a kb and same for biometrics i've had people fail biometrics because they didn't take off their glasses or it was too dark in the air that they were and the camera didn't pick it up so there has to be that personal um you know still you're responsible right don't be reliant on just the technology although that's important it's there to utilize you have to be just as involved as well. Now, Absolutely. I want to go back really quick, Stefan, and say California is the only state that you are not currently in. But are you, someone asked about Kentucky, they have to register. Is there any other states that you wouldn't be compliant with their state laws so the notaries who are on here um, would know? No, no, really. The only only trouble for us is California, which you know that they're already processing their 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 laws and trying to get a remote online and uh, their electronic journal by 2030, which who knows if it's going to happen or no at the end. So only that we are not accessing in. Uh, we need to take that as a platform. So I cannot basically say the remote online notarization and then this one. We have those differences on the website on the bottom by the state requirement for a journal and then for the remote online notarization as a separate section. But <clears throat> as of the platform itself, as a, as a complex, the only California is excluded. Gotcha. Okay. Any other questions out there that we can answer for you? All right. Well, I certainly appreciate everyone's time today, Stefan. Thank you so much as well. Thank uh, you. We really Thank appreciate you, you coming on and demonstrating. For anyone who's on or got on late, um, we're going to help go ahead and add this recording to the Nina page that you're welcome to go take a look on. And Stefan's going to send me an actual demo piece as well. We'll add that on there and we'll post it. If there are any questions, Stefan, do you want to put your contact information in the chat real quick and they can reach out to you directly? Absolutely. So let me let me add the website and my email if anything is needed. So first, my email will be Stefan. Uh, Verification.com. And the website is going to be centralized. Verification.com. So anybody, if you guys have any questions or you would like to have more information, more clarity or whatsoever, just let me let me know. You can send me an email. I'd be more than happy to answer you as soon as as it, it is possible for me to do so. Sometimes I get overwhelmed with all those emails that I'm getting every single day, but I'm doing trying my best to, to be there for everybody as I can. The same as Mercy, I am here to 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 help people around me. Perfect. Great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day and a rest of your week. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.